Today we're fishing a lake that has not only numbers of bass from, you know, half a pound up to maybe three, three pounds or so, but there are also some very large fish in there. So we're, oh, there's one right there. <laughs> so we're targeting the bigger bass, so this one doesn't happen to be the case. <laughs> Ooh, this is another, yeah, not a real big one. <laughs> with, uh, with, Better oh, fish here, Jeremy, baits, another yeah. bruiser. I think you got me by a little bit there. We've been catching a lot of small fish in this area, so we upgraded the size of our lures to a 10 inch hammerworm and a big mole lizard. We've been able to key in on some of these boys. Wow, that's a beauty. Look at that guy. Yeah, yours could eat mine. I think this is what you were talking about, Jeremy. Yeah. We wanted to kind of trigger these guys out of the school using big baits. And we're doing just that using these big Trigger X soft plastics today. <sighs> huh? Look at the size of that bass. This particular, I know it's huge. This fish came off a rock spine, but there's a number of different locations where you can find fish like this during the summer peak months. Let's get her back. Oh, look at that bruiser. At this time, bass and other species are establishing their summer haunts. In northern natural lakes, bass tend to concentrate on large sunken humps and points. Today, modern GPS units with good mapping chips make it incredibly easy to find high percentage spots, streamlining the on-the-water investigation. On large structures, bass will often gather on very specific areas, like the thickest weeds on sharp edges or inside corners and points. Other prime locations are any isolated rock humps or hard bottom extensions. Southern reservoirs see the same summer peak bite. Bass will often gather on main river channels or large creek arm ledges. Shell beds and rocks make these ledges even more attractive to bass. Water clarity and forage influences the depth bass will hold on these locations. Hummingbird side imagery is a great tool to quickly find these critical bottom compositions that schools of bass use. Mm, that was a nice bite. Nice. I like that you get hung up in the cover, you're popping it out, and it's like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> it's moving. Nice fish, too. Yeah, it's a pretty one. Nice. Oh. Nice, nice big bass. All right. They're on. They're turning on. You know, it's just amazing. You can go that whole month of June, you get a couple fish in the pads, a few fish start showing up on the weed edges. You get this summer peak and these boys just start showing up on all the offshore spots and they get a good attitude. They start biting, they get schooly, and they start getting fat too. Nice, nice bass. Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com and thanks for watching.